Hey guys, this is Foxy back with another R5 video. As you can see, this is a Bailger Jensen variation. And in the middle team, you will see a Twins Bastet Delphoi team with a global crit rate lead. So I, my Belger is built with enough crit rate for both the fire lead for crit rate and a global lead and Rika. So both variations work. I can raid with double Belgers, Jansen, or triple. It doesn't matter. But for me, consistency um, is is one big factor but also convenience right i can't always find three people including myself to r5 at any point of the day so i can raise my alt on the left side so you can see we run the dog photos right so for myself i built this team so that i can raid by myself whenever i want i'll show you how it works right here obviously having three belgar jensen's will be quicker and more consistent but for me, it's about convenience, right? And this team does the job. So it is pretty consistent and it won't kill the boss with um, with two, two, two rotations of Bailger. And But you will see that my middle team, it does enough damage <coughs> to do that. And I'm gonna rerun it to do a little bit more damage, but you will see that it does have the output to match the Bailgers from both sides right here right boom and you know in a scenario it doesn't it makes the run a little longer which is okay because I'm not paying attention to Summer's War the whole time because I'm doing other things so as you can see you know it's maybe about 10 seconds more than running three Bailger Jensen right so let's do another run you will see that I am using a fire archer. The reason why I'm using a fire archer is because I don't have a Shiwa that is level one awakened to use for its leader skill. So fire archer works for me and you know, 5% fire won't make that much of a difference to me. As you can see, my builder basically did 34.5K on the last hit with no global lead and missing 5% fire attack. So. You know, I do have the damage output and that's why this team is successful and for me to make it even more consistent you know I'm gonna max some runes and you know change up my middle team to do even more damage and possibly put it on extra will so that way I'm guaranteed turns so that's how I can improve my middle team so there you have it this is my solution to the new meta and I like it so as you can see 40 seconds in this run, but like I said, no one is paying attention when they do R5 because they're playing other games. But let me show you the sets on my Bailger Jensen team. As you know, the Degora and the Fire Archer, you know, you don't need rune qualities for that, right? So boom and boom. Pretty simple here. So this is my Lauren. I run a crit damage Lauren, however, I run it with an HP slot. Because I noticed that sometimes it wipes and with, with attack slot 6 so I decided to put on HP and do a little bit more damage with, with crit damage build also you will see here some of my fight runes they're pretty good uh, some of them are just plain terrible and bad like like this one but as you can see slot 1 slot 4 pretty good slot Five, not bad. So that's my Lauren. Gonna max a few runes to make it more tanky. That's for sure. Here you go, the Bailger. You don't need the Katarina anymore. So I stacked more Rage Will runes to make it beast mode, right? So I wish I had a little bit more HP, but my defense is really high. And you can see 63 crit rate. Like I said earlier, I have a global crit rate lead plus Kali or an Inferno for the fire lead. So it works out, but also because Rika, if I run with another third person, they have a Rika, my Bailgar works out as well. So you'll see it's also max skill. Here are the runes individually for you to look at right here. Right? Boom. Boom. Everything's everything's grinded out. And you know, I can change the 58 by attack for more HP. Uh, so I might do that right here just because for survivability and this okay so that's my Bailger and here's my Jansen's only five stars so if I wanted to six star I can 
compared to the bad fight runes right here, probably you guys aren't that interested in this. You're probably interested in the Bailguard damage, right? But nonetheless, I will show you all the stats here and the runes. Okay, so moving on, you know, this is my Delph Void, right? My Delph Void is also on a double fight will build to maximize damage for my twins. And here you go, this is my Sabrina. It, I try to make them as close to 81 crit rate as possible for Hua. So I'm definitely, you know, right here, you'll see the runes here, pretty tanky. Oh, this is not even max, what's wrong with me? What is this? I need to do, I didn't even do free removal. Okay, so here's my Melissa. Also as close to 81 crit rate as possible and doing as much damage as possible, okay? You'll notice that they're all on four or any two set because I farm a lot of uh, giants, very possible. Nope. And here is the Talia. You know, I think I can slow this Talia down even more so it hits harder at the end. I put it on double will, for example. So I'll test that out and see how that goes just because you know, I think the double will can be really nice in case the Delphoi does not end. Okay. And here's the Hua. I'm definitely going to change this Hua because we have a crit rate lead from Kali. So I can reduce the crit rate on this even more by, what, 23%, right? And put that into crit damage. So I'm going to change this 100% so that I hit harder and make this more consistent. So it's still some tuning for me to do for this team uh, to fine tune it to go. So for those who are wondering, does Belger Jensen work with an AP? The answer is yes. And even with, let's just say we do it like this and we do another support and run a double team such as this. This variation also works because you can basically tank the, basically you can tank the, the head on the middle and the right side should your left team die and there's a little bit left right so yes this middle team is pretty dang fantastic here and for the four, last monster in the middle team you can run an Oshari you know, right or you can run a defense lead if you need it so put in a Shayna so thank you guys for watching and I'll be using this team going forward because it is consistent and pretty good make sure you like subscribe and comment for future videos and appreciate the support as always